So I posted a know I was going to do a review here. Um, so I wanted to give everybody an overview. I know we've been seeing videos. A lot of people have been posting about spreaders lately. And uh, so I figured I'd just throw in my two cents. Why not? So the Echo RB60, uh, I picked mine up from Power Equipment Direct uh, online. Free shipping. It was $99 plus tax. Uh, came in the box. Simple setup. Hold up the handles. You throw in the two carriage bolts and tighten down. Uh, the handle was a little off, but that's a simple fix. You just you only tighten one carriage bolt at a time a little bit, and everything kind of lines itself back up again. It wasn't bent. I think it was just a matter of the, uh, the tightening of the bolts that kind of keep it all in line. Uh, a couple things to note. So, you know, I think initially, if you think about the build quality, it's definitely, it's a thick bucket. I mean, it's definitely a lot thicker than, say, you know, what I've seen with Scott's and especially with the Elite and even the Earthway. Those are a couple of the models that I've used is the Earthway, the C22 HD, which is very similar to the other 50-pound buckets. I think they're the 2150s they use. Um, I've also used a Scott's Deluxe prior and also my neighbors, um, as you've seen prior, has a smaller version of the very expensive Lesco uh, that worked pretty well as well. So these are uh, those are the ones I'm going to be able to compare it to. Uh, the handle, real comfortable. I mean, it's got a slight bend back to it, as you can see, a little bit of an angle here. And then the spring action. I had no issue here with the handle. People saying that it's short when it engages. I didn't see an issue with that when I was holding it. Uh, it's definitely sturdy. It's a good build. It's solid. Uh, the spring's got just enough to kind of give you that feedback without feeling too light or too uh, too flaky. Really easy to engage and disengage while you're making your rounds, which, you know, a huge plus. Uh, one thing I didn't really like when I was using the Lesco was the fact that it had that on-off lever that you had to keep shutting off and moving your hands to actually get the lever to shut it off and back to the handlebars again when you were uh, ready to start your row. Uh, this one, you just kind of could do it right on the fly, which makes it nice and you keep both hands right on the handlebars. Um, like I said, easy to engage and disengage. The, the rolling is real easy too. The, the, they are um, air inflated tires, they're not solid. Um, I think this is recommendation is uh, 15 PSI on those. Mine came out of the box at that rating, so they were good to go. Uh, again, solid, they don't leave a lot of line marks, so they're not flattening the grass. So I think that wide tire is definitely a, a big plus when you're going ahead and, and throwing down. Um, one thing about the settings, so I did note people were talking about the settings on this and how they are seeming to have to go a little bit higher. Um, if you look at the ratings there, you can see it's pretty on par with Scott's. Um, but what I was finding is the Scott's, I just threw down Ironite and the bag rate was uh, to set it, Scott's to a three. And what I noticed here is that I was uh, popped it up to a four at the end to get myself the, uh, the right bag rate. So it seems like I'm, I'm about one above what the, uh, the ratings are for Scott's in the comparison here. Uh, so that's what I'm going to continue to use. It seemed like a pretty even spread. Like I said, I got to the very end of my throw and there was just a little bit left in the bottom, not a whole lot. So my walking pace was good. I could probably adjust that maybe a little bit um, to make sure the product is getting spread down all the way. Um, but at the very bottom, I will say one of the things is, you know, I, there's a little video of it, is the agitator here. And if I get down enough, you'll see, there's a good half an inch of space. I'm trying to get down there for you. There you go. There's a good half inch of space between the agitator and the end of the bucket. So as this is spinning around, what you'll notice is even with the big prills that are on the Ironite, they'll end up just sitting here. And if it's not just naturally falling out, this isn't even touching it. So I don't know if I might potentially decide to do some modification, put a little drill through there a little bit and, and glue in something. Maybe that can kind of help sweep the bottom or, you know, we'll figure it out. But I have yet to find a spreader, again, using Scott, some of the Earthways, even that Lesco that my neighbor had. I have yet to find a spreader that is going to be able to really grab everything off the bottom. Everybody says, you know, they sell that aftermarket uh, agitator for Lesco for the Lesco, but again, you're paying hundreds of dollars just for the spreader and then having to throw an additional part, which I don't think is very expensive, but that actually, it, it kind of sits there and goes back and forth and makes sure to grab all of the, uh, the granules and the prills and get those out. 
other than that, I'm super pleased with this. Um, the edge guard over here, real simple. Nice little handle on the back here to grab it, throw it down, and pop it back up. It's got a little bit of a tension clip here, so it kind of keeps it up, so it doesn't just pop down on you. Holds it pretty nicely. That did really well. I have actually never used the uh, the edge guards on my other spreaders, so it was kind of nice to be able to just to walk the whole border and just get the throw where I needed it instead of having a little bit extra or trying to pace where my how far out it was going to spread and bring myself into the lawn. So that made it a lot easier. Um, and you'll see me. I did the front lawn in this in the uh, the video here just to get some of that uh, some of that down now before we get some rain in a couple of days. But again, for the price for ninety nine dollars. I really don't think you're going to find a lot that's going to be in uh, heavy competition here. I mean, I guess the Scott's Elite, but again, I had no desire to deal with something that had, you know, the axle with two sets of impellers and it just seems like there's a lot more to deal with there for such a simple tool. Um, again, super happy with it. I think it's going to last me a while. It's going to do exactly what I need it to. Um, again, as I got to the end, I did have to do a little bit of that shake and that little pullback walk just to make sure everything was getting out of it. But at that point, I had already covered my entire lawn, so I was just getting rid of a little bit extra that was in the bucket. Um, but again, for me, I definitely give this a solid A for a, for a product and its price point and what it's doing. So hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you learned a little something here and uh, it helps you in your decision. Happy spreading.